Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to comp takes or use comping in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here and I want to record some guitar. I'll go to the guitar track, put it into record. And let's record some passes. Now by default in Reaper, if you record on top of this, it's gonna create takes like this. So now we have two takes to choose from. But let's record one more. So now we have three. And we can see that if we go up here into the corner, take one out of three, take two out of three, and take three out of three. And we can choose which one we hear just by clicking on each one. We can hear this one, or this one, or this one. Now we can also switch them with a keyboard shortcut. If we type T, it goes to the next take. Or if we hit Shift T, it goes to the previous take. Now if we wanted to choose phrase by phrase which take we like, we could just split these items. Just click right here and type S, and that creates a split here, here, and here. Now we can choose different takes phrase by phrase. We could choose take one for this one, take two for this phrase, take three for this phrase, and go back to two for this one. And now we're going to hear this one, this one, this one, and this one. And that's known as comping or comping takes. But we choose the best take phrase by phrase to create the perfect performance. Now, if we're happy with the takes we chose, we can just select them all, right click, drag, like this, and then right click, go to take, and choose crop to active take. And that gets rid of all the unused takes, just leaving the good ones. But if you want to keep those takes around, but save the takes you chose, we can use the comp feature. Let's undo this. And if we're happy with the pieces we chose, we can just select them all, right click, drag, then right click, and go down here to comps. And we could save it as a new comp. We could give it a name if we want, and that saves all the takes we chose. So if we switch it up to this take, this take, this take, and this take, we can get back to the one we saved just by right clicking, go to comps, and choose comp one. And it goes back to the takes we chose before. And we could save as many as we want. Let's select this one, this one, this one, and this one. Right click drag to select it all. Go to comps and save that as a new comp. And I can go back and forth between comp one and comp two that easily without making the choices permanent. And if we right click again and go to comps, we can see a few other options available. We could rename the active comp, we could remove the active comp or delete it. We could crop the list of active comps. So if there's a whole bunch, we could remove all the others, just keeping the active one. Or one of my favorites is right down here. Move active comp to top lane. Right over here, we have lanes. And now we could right click again, go to comps, 
and choose Move Active Comp to top lane. That's going to move all the pieces we chose to the top lane, making it a lot easier to see which takes we chose. So if we want to switch it out to this one, it becomes very obvious it's not part of the save comp. Now it's important to note that we have to select all the items when we save comps. If we just select these two, let's grab this one and this one, and select these two like this, just those two choices are saved when we save a comp, not these two, because they're not selected. If we right click, save as new comp. Now, if we recall it with different choices over here, it's not going to recall these takes, just the ones from over here that were selected. Just these two were recalled because we only saved the takes based on the items that were selected. So make sure you select all of them when saving comps. Now there's a few actions that go with comping takes. If we go to the actions menu, show action list, and type in the filter comp takes, we can see a bunch of actions for comping. Activate next comp. Let's move this over. Now you'll notice there's no keyboard shortcuts automatically assigned, but we could always assign them right here. We'll just trigger them from this window. Activate next comp, hit enter. So it scrolls to each comp we saved, or previous comp, or choose active comp based on where we place the mouse. We can crop the list to the active comp, Move the active comp to the top lane, like this. It moves all the takes to the top. We can remove the active comp from the list. We can rename the active comp from here. And one of my favorites is to toggle back and forth from the previous comps we chose. So if we choose this, it goes back to the previous and forward. Toggling back and forth based on the last two comps we chose. So it's a great way of toggling between two comps that you prefer. And don't forget, at any point, we could lock our takes. Just select them all, right click, drag, and then right click, go to take, and choose to lock to the active take. And now we can't accidentally switch to different takes, because it's locked. Although we can still switch it to different comps from here. We just can't accidentally switch it just by clicking. So that's pretty much it. That's how to comp takes or use comping in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.